Hello and welcome blah, 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 um, to this uh, Minecraft Let's Play from the Lionheart server. I hope you're alright. I'm not gonna try to run on this little path here. I hope you're alright, guys. Uh, yes, Minecraft S Lionheart. Yeah! <laughs> I'm working over here. I don't know if you caught the stream that I had um, on Friday evening. A little bit of a surprise stream for you guys. We made this uh, bridge. We made the start of it. And I've uh, sort of kept going a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to sort of uh, bind my tree to the pyramid. That's, what, that's the sort of project we got here. And uh, I thought we would just basically build this and talk today guys because I am I gotta admit on first war got quite low on time uh, because of things and stuff uh, and I have some things I need to talk about <clears throat> so I figured uh, we could uh, swat two flies in, a, in one go as you say in Sweden <coughs> kill two birds with one stone I'm trying to figure out if this is the right feel uh, going back to the build for this place. So basically, let's have a little overview first of all. What is this thing, right? Well, <clears throat> it's like a part. It's, it's like a, a bridge raft type thing that uh, has been very nice, but uh, that has ended up in disrepair. And you can see that it sort of slants down. It even goes underwater here a bit and stuff like that. And uh, around it, it's gonna be trees and little huts and such like later on. It's gonna be quite a nice little landscape here, I think. Uh, but uh, this path then is, is now in disrepair, so it has dark oak beams, but uh, <clears throat> they're covered in, in vines, and the path itself used to be very shiny with oak, but uh, it's since uh, sort of Degenerated a bit, even has uh, been mended in some places, has some green stuff, and then, yeah, down here there's obviously dirt instead of the path. And as you can see, the beams here, they're sort of built up like this, because uh, there's the slime and muck that has gathered around it over time, yeah? And then it leads into this, uh, this path area here, and I thought we need to figure out, like, what to do with the landscaping around around the pyramid, right? And then around the whole dominion. So I thought we could try and figure that out today. In fact, I've already started. So I think granite is going to be a pivotal part of this uh, of this design. So I think around this these two layers here, we can have a lot of granite. And it looks really good, actually, with, with vines on it. And it looks really good with grass on top as well. So uh, I don't think we can just have patches like this, you know. I don't, I don't think I like that so much. But as soon as we put the grass block on it, or some other means of sort of half hiding it, I think it'll look really good. Then um, all the, you know, towards the, oops, sorry, towards the uh, the water here, we can have coarse dirt, soul sand, and some of the soul sand can have nether wart on it to give that pop of color and uh, we can have some stones as well so granite and, and stuff like that and that's the general idea right and then uh, if uh, so for patches like this over here where there's quite a lot of uh, stuff we need to have a little bit more stone and then everything sort of is going upwards a bit so the granite will be a little bit higher and so on in fact let's go and uh, try and do that a little bit of this now just to illustrate my point first of all we need to landscape this as well it's a little bit too straight here isn't it so let's uh, take out some bits so what do we want to talk about today well uh, I'm sure you're aware of the <laughs> grand YouTube controversy now with uh, with the um, watch time the increased demands from YouTube on uh, on their channels in order to monetize and uh, I mean everybody has been talking about this no doubt 
I'm sure you've uh, listened to a lot of it, <laughs> which is fine, which is fine, you know. And I just wanted to really um, talk maybe a little bit about that, but also talk. Hello. Oi, lag. <laughs> also, really talk about what I'm. So, so my view on it, I guess, but that's not terribly important. I just want to say. Um, that I currently have no plans really to uh, leave YouTube or anything like that um, because of these changes uh, which you know that's not entirely uh, you, know, you, you can see how people would want to leave because uh, if they uh, if they had it's kind of it's disheartening is, is I guess what I'm trying to say it's disheartening to see that uh, your goal maybe if if your goal is to Make yourself, make it, make it as it were, as a YouTuber. It's just quite, quite disheartening to see that goal being constantly moved backwards. I, I would, I would think, right? Um, but um, for me, it's not exactly that simple. I don't think. I don't think you can say it like that. Because the thing is, you got to realize this is definitely, positively a hobby for me, right? I, I, I have no intention or desire even. To make this something permanent, you know, it's it's uh, it's just not my goal. Okay, so uh, that's the that's the first thing to realize here. <coughs> and then, of course, uh, we have we have the fact where I have a job and stuff like that. Now, I do want to monetize my videos. That's the, the we're coming to that in a minute here, right? Uh, I do want to monetize my videos, and I am a little bit disheartened by the fact that. That I can't, I won't be able to probably. So I have taken some measures to sort of fix that. I think that's the best way to look at it, you know. And the, I'll tell you why I want to monetize my videos because it might not be very clear. If I don't want to live on this and um, make a living out of it, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to go full time or anything like that, why do I still want to monetize my videos? Well, it's because it's kind of a game to me. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. In some ways. Although I think it's in the wrong place, so it's kind of a game to me. It's like a meta game of YouTube, uh, and I uh, like I, I I like to sort of figure out how I can get more views, and I like to um, you know without making stupid videos, if that makes any sense. So I I, I like uh, I like the whole sort of game of YouTube. See, I really like that one. When the dirt hangs over a little bit, I think that can look really good. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the thing. I I, I kind of like the whole uh, idea of of uh, just be becoming better at you know becoming better at YouTube if that makes sense. Come on, oh okay, I can't I can't actually do that. Okay, so that's fine. Now we need to have a bit of grass here and there. Oh, and we mustn't forget. We must forget the good old uh, soul sand as well. Yeah, we need to have some of that as well. So, yeah. The, trying to figure out new and intriguing ways of uh, making YouTube show my video more. I, I, I like that. And, and, uh, and it's an interesting sort of meta game for me and it's a big part of why I uh, do YouTube videos is, is that actually even though that might sound silly to most people most sane people uh, <laughs> uh, and and with with this change I, I'm still gonna be able to do that of course you know but uh, it's gonna be a little bit different right because even though um, YouTube keeps claiming <laughs> That they they show uh, non monetized videos in, in the, to the same extent that they show monetized videos. I simply don't believe them. That would make no sense to me if if that's what actually what they did. Um, because obviously they are in it, especially now when they're trying to consolidate. Right, they're in it of course to make money, and that's fair enough. I'm not against that. Uh, but I, what I would say though is uh, I would like it. Would have liked it to be an even play field for us all, right? And uh, I, th I think, unfortunately, it won't be as equal anymore. 
with these changes. So uh, what, what that means really is that I'm going to fight a bit of an uphill battle here, right? Uh, is, is my prediction. And that's actually not too bad. I mean, I, I actually don't mind that too much because that sort of makes the game even more interesting to me in some ways. Let's do that. Let's try that. How does that look? We can still have a vine here and here. And then the thing is, now we we can't have if we have the gravel all the way down here to the to the water, we need to also have gravel or granite, sorry, below it as well, because otherwise it'll look silly. So let's remove some of these vines so we can see what we've accomplished so far. Yeah. So how is this affecting you guys? Well, not terribly, not terrible amounts, I don't think. Uh, what I have done is I've started streaming on YouTube instead of on on Beam or a mixer. Uh, and the reason for that is simple. I want to maximize, maximize my view time and my uh, and my uh, viewer viewer gainage and stuff like that on YouTube while I still have the chance, as in I'm still monetized at the moment. Uh, so until February twentieth, at the very haha, <laughs> that looks funny. At the very least. We're gonna do that, but probably because I'm probably not gonna reach my goal of, of becoming monetized again, we're probably gonna keep streaming a bit on YouTube after that date as well. Um, it's it's it shouldn't matter to you terrible amounts. You already presumably watch my YouTube videos or some of them, and uh, so this is just another way to to deal with that really. So that's one thing. Do I have, really have no dirt? I do have dirt, yes. Uh, and and uh, yeah, also there's going to be more content. <laughs> so that's the thing. So that presumably that'll be a good thing for you, and hopefully you'll welcome that a bit. Honestly, these mushrooms. Honestly, let's see. Yeah, let's place them on the coarse dirt. See, I really like this uh, this bank here now. I don't think it's quite done yet. Um, it needs some grey, so we need to figure out where the grey goes, and and presumably the grey goes around about here somewhere. Yeah, so we can take this out, for instance. Uh, I want to have cobble as well in this, and probably I should have mossy cobble as well. I would I'll have to go and fix that, like so maybe. Oh yeah. This one. Then we can sort of move the dirt forward a bit, I guess. Have some, uh, some cores here. Something like that. Maybe this is a bit. I need some slabs. And stuff. In fact, I need to empty my inventory a little bit. If we're doing landscaping, I don't need a bunch of wood, do I? Also, I need to eat. All sorts of things going on here. Um. So yeah, that's how it's going to affect us. Um, now the thing is with 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 the the, the whole uh, YouTube thing is I think I, I, in fact I don't think I do actually understand them. Yeah, I, I do appreciate that they have to make money. I do appreciate that they have to consolidate their market and stuff like that because they have, uh, as far as I understand it, they've never really made money off of YouTube. And that, which is kind of ridiculous because uh, man the amount of ads they they show and uh, you know they must make money I thought <laughs> but but apparently not but apparently not Guys, that's uh, it's surprising to me and if they have never made money then obviously I understand that they do need to do that that's uh, that's a given so uh, you know I, I do kind of understand where they're coming from I just don't think punishing uh, Small content creators is the way to, to go, basically. <laughs> so um, while I, I agree with the goal, I don't agree with the method. That, that that's the that's the best way to put that, I think. Man, that takes a long time. <laughs> and where's me and receipt? There we go. So like that. Oh, we're drowning. Excellent. Um, yeah. 
<coughs> so I think that's uh, that's my view on the whole YouTube controversy. Let's have a look at what we got now then. Yeah. See, I really like that. I really, really like that. I think this this is a great, great thing. Now we can make a bit more of this rock up here. Um, we can maybe take this out like that and make it a slab instead, and then maybe put a st oops, put a stone here. Yeah, and. Mm, Let's take that out. Let's take that out again. Let's put that on top, and then put a piece of cobble here. How's that? And then, wow! Then we do that. Yeah, I love how the uh, the vines look on on things. Can you put them there? Yeah, look at that. I love how the vines look on on things in um, in the swamp. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at that. Absolutely brilliant guys. Yeah, so like that. I like that a lot So now we have this little thing here. I can do this stuff for hours guys uh, Let me make a shortcut and I will be right back So I went and got some sugar cane because that looks really good in the swamps as well. You can see it over there and uh, <laughs> I worked a little bit more with this uh, this area here and I think we're getting somewhere with it and man, I mean, this this is starting to look really nice, and I've started to incorporate a bit of uh, lamps here as well, and some leaves. And in fact, I think we need to have a bush over here somewhere. I'm always, uh, yeah. So most of these trees, I think the wood of choice <coughs> for this particular swamp is it's jungle wood. So most of these trees are going to go away, I think, and be replaced by some other things. But what we can do here, I think, is if we plan to have a light here, we can just put uh, one log, put some leaves around the light like that, and there we have it. I think that's a pretty nice bush, and then we can just pull it, make it a little bit more random, maybe like that, and we can even go too high here if we want to make a little bit of a bigger one. And we can kind of maybe want to in this case, like that. And that sort of gives you that orange little hint when you walk past it, like that. <laughs> but uh, it's it's not in your face. And I don't plan for this to be completely mob safe or anything like that, so beware. <laughs> and the path in general, paths in general aren't that much uh, used in, in Minecraft anymore anyway, because obviously people can fly. So that's all right, and then of course we can come over and add some interest to this bush as well. A little bit of that. It needs maybe some grey around it, and here we're sort of into boulder. Oops, what's this? <laughs> Poorly mended uh, creeper explosion, no doubt. Here we're sort of into more. Uh, yeah, that looks funny <laughs> for now. More normal rocks is, is what I'm trying to say, I think. So maybe that one could be an andersite. I think it could, like that. Yeah, there we go. And then we can cover parts of this with some, some of that. Yeah, maybe in something, something like that. And then we can have Grass. I seem to be lacking grass here all the time. Ooh, let's get a piece of grass. There's some grass over here. That's nice grass. Piece of grass. We could have it here and here. We can make that one long, right? Or tall, I should say. <laughs> yeah. And then. We can say, well, it's a bit dry around here, like that. And where's my coarse dirt? And we can go around and say that, well, it's even drier. And uh, yeah, things like this. And then we can take one of these mushrooms, maybe, and put it on the coarse dirt here. Can you not do that? Outrageous. 
Okay, well, we can do it like that, and then we, oh, we should probably have some grass behind it as well. That would look good. Maybe like that. Yeah. See, this is what we can do all the way here, all along here. Now, I want to do one more thing before we finish, uh, and I'll have to do this on a stream or on off camera or something. Um, but the, once, once we come down here, I've, I've sort of cut out like a path already here by taking away one or two layers of dirt. But when we come down here, this looks really good. And we can imagine, of course, if the tree is a bit bigger as well, which is going to be at some point, that it might be an interesting idea to have some sort of viewing point here. And then, of course, have some sort of way to get it across as well. So maybe if we go, say, one, two, three, Maybe like that. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> maybe, maybe here. Yeah, we have a, a, a stick here, and take away this one. All right, and then we have like, if we, because if we stand, like, if we say that this is, this is like where you come out, then we almost want to have another one sort of here, maybe like that. And then, do I have any type of wood on me? Well, I have. I can make some slabs here, of course, like that. Okay. So then, let's assume that this is the height we want to be on, right? And let's just do it without for now. I just want to see sort of what it looks like roughly. So we build out a little bit here. Maybe that's enough, really. Maybe I should move these beams closer to to the shore. I think I shall do that in just one second. Maybe like that. Oh, get rid of you. Get rid of it with yourself. <laughs> My English speaking has degenerated severely here. So like that, right? I like that. So then we need to move these closer, which is not bad. That's, that's all right. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, give me that, please. So then we need to have the beams. Maybe, uh, maybe we come with one here, right? And then one here. Or do we? Okay. See, I, I'm annoyed that there's <laughs> not dirt there. That's why I have hesitated putting a beam in, which is silly. I know. I know. I mean, it's easy enough to get wood, but I hate chopping down logs. That's that's a fact. Then we leave like a three-wide gap here, and we come with the last of the water-based beams here. Yeah, and then we will have one here as well. Although that needs to come down one. Like that. It's like a dock almost, I suppose. Yeah, we could have like boats going across. Yeah, I like that. So this is where the path leads to. So uh, that's that's fine. I'm, I think what we're gonna do, guys, is in the next stream or off camera, depending on what happens, I'm gonna finish this path off all the way. Uh, and then uh, no, when next we return to this, which may be in the next episode or maybe later on, we're going to build some houses around here and all along the path, path even, and some custom trees uh, that you have. The, the first one is, is this one here that I built on a stream, not, not, well, a while ago now. And the, the great thing about this tree is the red, which is then going again in the red in the nether ward. And, and yeah, that's the whole thing. Red. And greens and browny colors that's what we're dealing with here but man this this is a great look anyway guys thank you for uh, listening to me thank you very much it means a lot and uh, I hope you stay with the channel through these changes and I hope I will see you next time and do remember guys that uh, uh, because of this monetization monet monetization monetization you know what I mean 
uh, it's now a little bit more uphill for me so uh, be sure to hit that like button leave me an encouraging comment and I will see you next time guys alright uh, bye